guys, welcome to the video, welcome back to the channel and we're at Jatfest and we're at my own stand which is pretty nuts. It is currently 8am, we've still got an hour and a half of cars that can roll in. Shout out to all of you that are on the stand today because we've got 37 cars in total if, if everyone shows up. We're not even halfway and it's just nuts, there's just cars everywhere. Also, how hilarious is this? This is the stand name, obviously couldn't come up with anything more imaginative but also free marketing. Once everyone's here I'll do a walk around of all the cars that are on the stand. I got the Civic cleaned up, wasn't too bad the weather this morning so very happy about that. Got the S2000 here so I'm going to show you what I see, what I'm into and all that kind of stuff like usual and wait for all the people to show up at the stand and let's see what happens with the day. Okay, and fast forward about an hour and a half, two hours or so, and pretty much everyone is here. We've got 35 of the cars here. The doors have closed to let anyone else in, so this is pretty much it. But I thought I would give you a tour of my stand, which is absolutely mad. So we're starting here, EP3. We've got this K-Swap Civic here. This was one in a raffle, so you probably know this one if you entered the raffle for that. Pretty mad that this was basically a tenner. Got another EP3 here. Got a lot of carbon going on. Got carbon front wings, carbon bonnet. Got my car, you know mine. Then you got... My S2000 here as well, you know both of these, so I won't bore you with those. We've got this Mark V Supra, cool front lip on this. A couple of carbon bits on the side as well. Another EP3 with the wheels I've got on the S2000 actually. So it's cool to see that on an EP3. Got Max in the front lip as well. Got an R34. This is super cool, it's got some crazy like, if you can see that on camera. Another EP3, wide body, stancy boy, EP3 here. Another EP3, another EP3, you can understand the trend here. Going down here, another EP3. Preface of EP3, Premier Edition 06 play EP3, another EP3, another EP3, another EP3, another EP3. We've got this Lexus here, look at the crazy wrap on the front of this. Pretty wild. Another EP3, white wheels, mission to keep clean. This turbo, EP3, super sick. Look at the bonnet exit exhaust on here. Super rad. Another EP3, this is a Motion Most sport build car. Loads of cool carbon bits on there as well. Then we got this with a few spoon stickers and stuff on this EP3. Then we got this track spec EP3. I do actually love this design on the back. It merges in with the Mugen wing. I love that black stripe. Super cool little graphic livery kind of thing. Got a cage in the back. Proper track car, another Mugen style bonnet on this as well in carbon. Looks super cool. Couple more EP3s here. Got some EP2s, another EP3. The only other S2000 on the stand is here. Another EP3, look at the yellow speed brakes on this. Super cool. Another EP3. This MX-5 is actually owned by the S2000's previous owner, so super cool to have him on the stand as well. And yeah, he missed having a soft top, so he bought this, which is I think is brilliant. And we've got this supercharged EP3 here. Look at that. This was a supercharger I was going to do on mine if I was going to supercharge it, but decided against it. And then we have this EP3 here as well. So yeah, that is all the cars that are on the stand this year. Okay, bonnets down on the Civic. Everything's locked up because we're going to head out and actually look at some cars now. So let's go see what the show has to offer. So first First off is going to be this incredibly cool looking S2000, it's got a wide body kit, Kraftwerk supercharged, super rad, and then next to it this one here as well, little spoiler, Voltex front bumper, whether it's genuine or not I don't know, love this front bumper, it's definitely one of the options that, and good to know it looks good with the pre of headlights as well. Look at the colour of this thing, this is pretty wild, what a nuts wrap, sort of like a pearlescent pink thing, pretty cool tires on the top as well. We've got a load of Accord Type R's here. Always really like these, these are super cool. Looks like here is the RX-8 owners club or some sort of, some sort of RX-8 owners thing because there's a lot of them along here as well. All the way through here. This one's got Lambo doors, look at this thing. Proper max power throwback. And look at these dust caps, these are brilliant. Look at those, it's hilarious. So yeah, Midnight Purple R34. Super cool, it's got a Nismo front mount intercooler which, and then we got this S chassis car next to it too. So these are two pretty cool cars. Look at that. Also hilarious, look at the stick on the back. V-Spec 2 not. Got all these chasers along here. JZX Owners Club. This one's nuts though, look how cool this is. Love the livery on this too. And yeah, just some super clean ones. Proper JDM sleeper cruiser vibes. And then opposite those is a load of glanzers. Absolutely loads of these things. Oh, this one's sick. T37s, wheel with big brake kit on the front. Carbon front wings, carbon eyelets. Look at the size of the canards on this thing. Crazy kit and big turbo as well. The spoon livery on this DC2 is sick. Jay's racing wing on the back. Actually considering this wing for the S2000, so let me know if you think I should do this or I should go something maybe a bit more aggressive, I don't know. Then we got this here, T37s. 
big exhaust on the back. Go check out his YouTube channel, Buddy Club Bonnet, which I think is the best bonnet for this car. And a carbon Mugen lower lip and a big front mount intercooler. This thing must be pretty fast. This Bayside Blue GTR is sick. Nismo LMGT. Fours, not sure. This is a goals car, isn't it really? Imagine how much this actually costs now. Titanium tip out the back as well. Sounded nuts when it was arriving. We've got a V-Spec 2 right next to it as well. Just absolute goals this, isn't it? Oh, it's even got the Nismo carbon door pillars. Imagine just squad rollout with these two. Incredible. And there are a few more GTRs of different generations. This is obviously the 32. This is on my list of cars to own one day. Ray's T37s. Just absolutely incredible. Oh, these are cool. Little Nismo door pieces. I haven't seen those before. Clean V-Spec. Titanium tip. Such a cool car. And this next to it as well. Bit of a wide body on this one. Absolutely love these cars. This Civic is sick. Love the stance. Paint's in really nice condition, actually. Grams wheels on it. Cool tire paint, but yeah, this is super fresh, gutted in the rear, clean, just super clean. As part of the show this year, they've got a anniversary for the Civic, and this is basically all the cool cars. So you've got every generation, I think, in here, loads of different kinds. This is super clean, absolutely incredible. This spoon brakes, raised teeth, that is, oh, this is incredible. Case swaps, what a build this is. This is so rad. We've got the new FL5 here. FK2, the limited edition one of the FK8, like track one. So loads of Mugen bits on this and oh, the Voltex wing. Again, this is another wing that I'm interested in getting for the S2000. So what do you reckon, Jays or Voltex? CE28s, one of the best wheels ever. We've got Ashes EP2 supercharged case swap car. So this is another option you could do with the rear lip that I've done with mine. But you see this bit's been painted black. So rather than doing all one body color, you could just do this bit in black, which is pretty cool too. And then we've got this FD2 here with the cool Mugen logo on it as well. RPF1s, look at the bonnet as well. We've got Andy's EK9 here. Of course, Andy's car makes it in. As always, every show I mention this thing, super rad. Phil, the MX-5's here, which must mean Alex is here somewhere. Maybe I should bully him into doing videos together with the S2000s. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? But yeah, cool to see this in person anyway. Tillet's racing seats in there look super cool. Little V6 in there, if you didn't know. I'm sure you know way more about this than I do. And here are the 9K Everyday Boys. It's sort of a Midlands-based club I've been speaking to a little bit recently. Loads of cool S2000s on here. But the one car I really want to see is this one. I've been following this guy on Instagram for a long time. Filmed this before, but before I knew anything about S2000 parts, this has got so many parts on it that I one and he's gone for the Voltex race splitter as well like this front bumper is so expensive so I'm thinking of doing these side skirts there's just so many good bits on this and the rear bumper this is the wide body version so I'm not thinking of doing the wide body version but they do a, a narrow body version of this bumper and this is the splitter I want as well the, the diffuser just so many sick parts and the swan neck spoiler on this just absolutely love this thing got a couple of Supras here but we got a Fast and Furious tribute car look at this thing Mad. But surrounding that are a load more Mark IV Supras. Absolutely loads of them. This one's pretty cool. This thing's on air. This thing has not got a 2J in it. This is basically a car that everyone hates. It's got a tow bar everything. This thing's hilarious. I'll show you the engine bay. Look at this thing. So hilarious. I believe it's a tank engine. Look at this thing. The kit's insane. Fully shaved bay. You've got to do it. Hilarious. Oh, confetti Recaros on the interior as well. Yeah, yeah that's so rad. Love seeing those seats. <laughs> Couple of beers. LS swapped GT86 with the Rocket Bunny kit. Crazy. And look at the colour on this. This is so very bright. It doesn't really show up on camera how it looks in person. It's way, way cooler. This R34 with these infinity lights. Kind of hard to... Yeah, there we go. Look, sort of infinity lights as you go in there. Pretty wild, but midnight purple. And then we've got this CRX here. Very cool bonnet. Super clean painter bay. Looks really nice. Then we got this Feels FD2 catalog car. This thing is sick. Let me know if you want me to do a video on this car because I feel like there's a lot of things that still haven't been told about this. Loads of cool bits on this. Rad to see it in person for the first time. I've seen, been following this guy for a while. Cool little backyard special piece in there as well. Yeah, let me know down below, guys. Do you think I should do a video with this? And then we're in one of the fast car bays in here now. Pretty rad. This is a Toyota Sarah thing. But the new FL5 so far. Look at this super clean NSX. And then this bag 370 as well with a bit of Sega rally in the background. So we're now in, well, scrutineering, which usually means it's the auto finesse area. And it is again this year. Some 
crazy build stance s2000 fully smooth engine bay this thing's wild crazy seeing some veil side 350s 370s but this gtr kit is weirdly interesting for a 350z never seen anything like this before it's like half r35 half 350 it's really crazy this is crazy i don't know if you can see this it's an r34 midnight purple but then they've painted the carbon midnight purple too with the clear coat hope you can see that and on camera because that is absolutely crazy to see that this yellow on this fd is absolutely insane it's just like super bright and punchy <laughs> taped up the rear wing though because it clearly was a big wing on it it's got some cool like carbon on the interior as well like around <laughs> I haven't seen that before. You imagine doing this to a P1. Fair play for doing this. This GR Yaris is sick. This wide body is amazing. And actually, I love the livery as well. It really accentuates it like a map. Yeah, this is amazing. Look at the canards on this. Ah, oh, this is rad. This could be my favorite car in this section, to be honest. Look how wide it is at the rear. <laughs> this is incredible. We're just walking under the tunnel. This is the first time I've ever been under here, actually. This is pretty wild to get to the, all the other stuff because they've moved everything around this year. I have never been to this side of the track and there is cars all over here this year. Absolutely crazy. So gonna have to have a look around here at some point as well. This is a sick Evo. Alcon brakes, proper track setup. Cage in the back, cool carbon. Delete for the rear seats. We're Really nicely set up big turbo down the front there this is where the trade stands are behind the stands here and there isn't actually really anything i'm after so i'm not super worried about seeing what's over there but yeah even cars here like sd thousand just cars all over the place this year this is crazy this has to be one of the biggest if not the biggest chat fest ever i've never seen it like this just as far as you can see cars and people so the drifting is on, so we're going to watch a bit of that. This is the first run, so you'll actually be able to see something. And that's all I'm going to be able to show you because you can't see anything anymore. We just bailed on the drifting because a car spun off so there's going to be a safety car or whatever chill time for about five minutes we bailed out there's all these cars here as well so they're building a go-kart track here so that's why there isn't a cars all in this area that's why it's all been pushed over to that side of the track and look at this thing side exit exhaust it is only on this side actually then we've got a little carbon like boot lid spoiler thing that is crazy my cars are over here somewhere so we've got to cross that bridge again but to get to that i think we've got to go all the way over all the way around there are some cars over there as well so we might go check those out before heading back to the car for lunch so made it to the other side of the bridge as you can see we've got a load of type r's ep3 and then a load of fk2s drifting still going on now always back on now but there is all these cars down here as well i do want to have a look at this cool livery on the s2000 though i do really like this the red car with black wrap proper race car vibes really like the daytime running lights on this subaru that flick is really cool and then the wing is wild look at that it's like all dry carbon as well 1552 wheels as well this is a very rare sight it's the evo enkeys on an evo rather than an ep3 it's crazy wide body ep3 it's got like the dc5 style front bumper as well turbo it's got the devil wing on the back as well and the fiberworks fx rear bumper rather than the rear lip like i have on mine the color on this f15 is sick it's like this chameleon color c28ns on the wheel choice amazing We've got a few evos and we've got an evo wagon here these i just absolutely love what a rad thing to have just for get your family around and oh look at those front wings as well that's mad so this supra is pretty wild look at that single turbo but look how chromed this rear wheel look at the dish it's like mirror finish look at that check this wide body rocket bunny kit on this rx7 super wide what is there not to like really then we've got this i think it's a dandelion yellow i think that's the color this evo and it is incredible the wheels look super good in white against it as well so now just walking back to the cars because uh, gonna have some lunch i think is the plan still got shed load of cars to still see so just made it back to the stand and <laughs> That's what to expect when you are on my stand, I guess. And now we're back at the cars. Look at that, perfect. So just finished lunch, spoke to loads of you, which was super, super cool. So thanks to everyone that came.
<laughs> Thanks to all of you that came and said hello. That was amazing. So now, as you can hear in the background, there's a stunt show going on. I don't really care about that. But we're going to go look at all the cars over here and over here now because I haven't been able to look at any of those. Yeah, let's go see what else there is. At the exclusive JDM stand and this Midnight Purple S15 is gorgeous. Front splitter diffuser things as well. Pretty rad. This RX-7 is super rad. It's got Rega Master wheels as well. Nice big jack cannon out the back, just super clean. Looks like it's running a meth setup in the rear as well, so this must be rapid. Really like the livery on this, Datsun. But look at the crazy side exit exhaust on this EP3. Quite a nice little cut there, it's quite a cool way of doing it. Sleepery until you're actually <laughs> listening to it. I can already tell that this thing's going to be mega clean if it's got a mirror. Absolutely crazy, super fresh. Just OEM plus kind of vibe, just well looked after, full underside treatment, lovely, really nice. So we're now up on top. I've never actually been this high up that you see all the cars going past on the track down here. This is all MX-5 section by the looks of it. So as you guys may know, we still have that 250 pound MX-5 and it is incredibly rusty. So here today, hopefully trying to find out some info on whether we can shell swap it to save it because the engine Gearbox, interior, roof, everything, great. Underside, terribly rusty. So hopefully we'll find some information whilst we're here today. And here we have B10A Honda. Let's have a look in here, see what sort of cool stuff there is to see. Always love an EK9. Seems to be stripped out in the rear with some race seats in it. And we've got a Motion Motorsport banner on this EP3 here. Nice to see this Royal Navy Blue SC1000. This is the color I nearly went for until Jackfest last year, actually, which is when I decided to go for the blue, like the car down there, the Monte Carlo Blue. But this was my original choice. I was gonna go for this Navy, but I just found it too dark for me. And that's why I ended up with the blue that I did. And I'm actually really happy with my choice. Not that this is a bad color in any way. I think it looks amazing. And these Civic Aero decks will always hold a very special place in my heart. This is what my mum had when I was growing up. In silver though, not in this red color. Same, and I'm not sure. I can't remember the specifics because I was quite young. But this might have been the car that got me into Civics or got me into Hondas, to be honest. This could have been the birth of it all. It's quite crazy to think of. So yeah, always love seeing these area decks when they're up and about. A load more MX-5s down here as well. Saw this thing driving in. It's basically a MX-5 shell kit car thing. Got MX-5 internals. APR wing. This is the kind of vibe I would go for, like lowered nice chunky setup, kind of I guess the vibe I'm just going with the S2000, but just trying to find people to talk to about things like this. So it's super cool that we can actually see cars in person and chat to the owners. This is actually the first FL5 I've seen running any sort of different wheel spec in real life. So cool to see the Enki wheels on this. Uh, first time I've seen a red one as well. The number plate is so sick, FL5 Japan. Yeah, I do really like these. This is one, if I had to buy a new car, this would be one of them. I'm pretty sure I've filmed this before, but yeah, I definitely have. Based on the suspension setup in the back here, this thing is super cool though. I believe this has a K20 in it or a K24. Super rad though. Look how cool that is. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. T37s, big brakes up front. That color of wheel works perfectly against this pink and then the black wing as well. A little accent. Look at the downturn tip on this as well. And this one over here is, oh, I love the wide arches on the front and on the rear. Huge rear canards on this as well. Absolutely bonkers. So until we all walked up to this, we didn't realize what this was. This is a Mazda MX-6, which I have never seen in person before. It's like, it's crazy because it's basically, look, it does look like an elongated MX-5. I've never seen one of these before. Look at that. Just come at, back over the other side of the bridge. Look at the wing on that thing. Saw that last year. Yeah, all of these cars we haven't looked at yet. This is back on the other side of the bridge where the sales stuff is, which we just powered through earlier the other way. So I haven't seen any of the cars that are down here or over here or anything yet. So I can have a look around and see if there's anything cool. The kit on this FD2 is sick. It's got a front lift and everything as well. Super rad. Oh, looks like this FK8 has had a bit of a crash. Don't know if that was today or what. Look at all of that. So this GTR was just revving, but it's got a full top secret kit on it. Absolutely wild. This is a seriously expensive kit. It does look amazing though. Look how cool that is. It's got a sea of cool colors in here. Proper drift stancy thing, looks super rad. This pink is really nice. So then we've got a green one as well. Looks rad too. There are loads, loads more cars down here. Another EP3 here as well. But this is getting pretty crazy with the weather. It looks like it's just starting to rain a little bit. I'm getting a few spots on the camera as we speak. So I actually saw this at Caffeine and Machine last weekend. And look how cool this is with the roof box. Love the suction cup mount things all on air ride and everything, just a cool, cool setup. 
means you can go wherever you want with your small little convertible. This Ferris kitted Evo I saw last year. One of my favorite cars of last year. Yeah, this thing is so cool though with all the Verus parts all over it. This is the first I've seen of this color of the FL5. I've never seen this blue and it is way better in person than I've seen in the photos. I actually really, really like this. I might go championship white, red, then this actually over the black, which I'm really surprised at. Seeing photos of it, I wasn't sold, but it looks really good in person. And just like that, the rollout has begun. Everyone seems to be bailing now that the drifting's ended. All right then guys, that's gonna do it for this one. As you can see, it's starting to rain and everyone's bailing basically. People are leaving from the stand, obviously back at the cars. Thanks everyone. Thanks, thanks, thank you. There we go. Yeah, shout out to everyone that's been on the stand today. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been an awesome day. And as you can tell, everyone's had a good time. Nice and smoky. <laughs> Mm, lovely. Yeah, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Shout out to all of you that came and said hi. Shout out to all of you that were on the stand today. It's been super rad. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.